when I'm speaking about human dignity, when I'm speaking about justice, when I'm speaking about equality, when I'm speaking about shared values, when I'm saying and understanding what I heard from the Prophet of Islam, Ali Salaam, saying, saying clearly to the Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to the Prophet, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We sent you as a mercy, but as a mercy for the world, not only for Muslims, not only to be isolated, but something which is a universal message for yourself and to share this message with others. Meaning what? To convert the people? No. To share our values because the relationship between us and all the non-Muslims is mutual knowledge and shared values. Because this is the main teaching of Islam. If God had willed, he would have made you one community. He wanted diversity. And to tackle diversity is the only way for you is mutual knowledge, mutual respect, which is more than tolerance. More than tolerance. Tolerating someone, you can tolerate someone without knowing him. You cannot respect me if you ignore me. Respect is out of mutual knowledge. So come to that level of mutual knowledge for, to get mutual respect. This is why we think that we have a role here to play, which is our message is universal and we find universal common values with Christianity, with Judaism, with atheism, with secular society. These are our values. So when you come and we speak as Europeans and as Muslims, we don't speak as a minority obsessed with his own, its own rights. We speak as citizens sharing majority values. And this is the way to get this confidence the Muslims should understand and should get, which is really important. I think that this is, this is part of what the Muslims should understand. And not to accept all this business of people telling you, you as a minority, you have to integrate, you are part of us. Uh, this is an obsession putting you outside your society and thinking of you as, okay, I am alien to this society. No, I am at home and these values are my values and I am sharing this with you. So confidence is really the first thing to promote as a European Muslim, which is really important. And meaning by that, that we are facing today what I call an ideology of fear. People spreading fear and with fear suspicion and with suspicion targeting new kind of racism. We have to refuse that. This racism is something that we are not going to accept. It's a question of mutual respect and rights. The point here is really to act against the fear. And to do that, it's really important also to promote something which is a critical mind. I want to tell the Muslims here, all the Austrian Muslims and their fellow citizens, we need to come with something which is a critical mind. In Islam, it's not only a question of deep faith. It's not only to say, I believe in God. This is right, I believe in God. But I make up my mind, I think, I try to understand when I live, and I am listening to the question of the people around me. And we have to understand that some people around us are genuine in the question they ask Muslims. Because they are asking questions, it doesn't mean that they are against Muslims. They are people asking wrong questions to Muslims because they want to target the Muslims. But you are, you have around you many fellow Austrian people asking good questions and they need answers because they are scared. Let me tell you something. If you are an average Austrian uh, citizen and you watch TV, if you are not scared of Muslims, you are not normal. You are not normal because what is spread around about Islam is just scary. It's scary. Violence, discrimination, isolation, us versus them, killing innocent people. We need to come with a critical mind, being able to say, these are the Islamic values we promote, but some Muslims are acting against these values in the name of Islam. And we have to be critical. Self-criticism is something which is really important. The people need to have Muslims able to say our values and to also be critical when some Muslims are doing things that are wrong. Let me give you an example. In Islam, racism is prohibited. There is no racism accepted in Islam. 
come to the ground and come to look and assess what is going on within the Muslims, within the Muslim communities. And you can see that there is sometimes a kind of racism against the black people, against between the Turkish and the Arabs. We have to say critical mind means in the name of Islam, we have to gain to act against racism. This is something which is important. The second, and very often we are asked about this, and I want to say this because it's essential for us. Many Muslims are saying in Islam, women are respected and the human rights are respected. That's true. There is nothing in Islam against women. But let me tell you, and we have all to say this, which is the reality of it. Within the Muslim communities, there are things done by Muslims against women promoting discrimination that have nothing to do with Islam, but they are done in the name of Islam. So what we have to say is that we don't accept that. Sometimes it's important to come with clear discourse and to be able to say forced marriages, domestic violence, this and for mercy concision, these are not Islamic principles and they are done by Muslims. And as Muslims, we have to say we are against this because this is not promoting our values. This is critical mind. This is a deep faith in our principles, but also critical mind. Meaning also that as citizen, you know, very often I come to country and it happened with some journalists right now. They came to me and they say, you know, which is the best country in Europe as to the Muslim presence? And I, I was told just when arriving, you know, in Austria is better than in Germany. And when I am in UK, I am told it's better than in France. And when you go to France, it's better than in, in, in UK. What is this business? I don't care. I don't care which is the best model. The only thing which cares, the only thing which is important is when you are in Austria, you sit down as a citizen with your fellow citizen and you say, OK, what are the Austrian values? What are we promoting as Austrian, the democratic Austrian citizens? We are promoting equal citizenship. We are promoting no discrimination in the job market. We are promoting no racism. This is all what we are promoting. These are Austrian values. That's fine. Let us now come to the ground and compare the practices, the values and the practices. This is the only thing which is important. Are you acting in Austria in the name of all your values or are they contradictions? If they are contradictions, let us reform the situation. But don't compare to, f to find yourself well. Don't compare Austria with Germany. Compare Austria with Austria. This is the only way which is important. This is the critical mind. So, as an Austrian citizen, if I were an Austrian citizen, I would come here and say, okay, the politicians are saying no discrimination in the job market. But we all know that sometimes when you have an Arab name or a Pakistani name, it's difficult to get a job. So let us act all as citizens here and say, this is not acceptable according to the Austrian values. This is what we have to do. Don't go to speak about the Germans, speak about your reality. This is what we have to do. This is also critical mind which is needed. This is to be confident in our values. Quickly then, uh, something which is important. What you are doing here by invi inviting politicians and the civil society is something which is needed. We need communication. We know in this time of globalization, there is lots of information, but with no communication. You got lots of information in the, the very, a very short period of time, but there is no communication. We don't take time to communicate. We don't take time to sit down with the people and to explain. How could you hope that the Austrian people are going to change their mind about Islam if the Muslims are totally invisible and they don't speak? How could you be understood if you don't make yourself understandable? And I think that the Muslims now should be communicating more, being speaking, as I said, confident in their value, also self-critical towards some behaviors. We spoke about, we spoke right now about what happened uh, five years ago in America and then in Madrid and then in London. 
Muslims should be here in this country and to say, we condemn all this because this is not only non-Islamic, it's anti-Islamic. We don't accept any kind of terrorism because this is not our value. This is what we are saying.